Ukrainian paratroopers and military counterintelligence are effectively calling Russian soldiers in Kursk Oblast to surrender through a virtual commander account on the Russian social network VKontakt. The 95th Separate Airborne Assault Brigade wrote on Telegram. In a video posted by the brigade, Russian soldier Nikolai tells the story of his enlistment in the 810th Marine Brigade and his surrender to Ukrainian forces. I flipped through the photos, watched the promotional videos, and I really liked it. I decided to make some extra money. I went to the military recruitment office at 5 Yablokova Street, signed a contract, he says. They promised me one thing, but as a result, I was sent to Kursk Oblast. After less than two months, he was lured by a message on V-Contact from someone he thought was a Russian officer. The person gave him coordinates for a hideout. I got there and was met by Ukrainian forces and counterintelligence. Nikolai says, thanking the Ukrainian soldiers for saving his life. The Russian Federation wants to oust the Ukrainian Defense Forces from the territory of the Kursk region before the inauguration of newly elected U.S. President Donald Trump on January the 20th, 2025. Military and political analyst Dmitry Snagirev stated that the Russians have not yet succeeded in this. Recently, Russian occupiers have significantly increased pressure on Ukrainian positions in the Kursk region. This was reported on air by serviceman Vitaly Ovcharenko on Radio NV. Recently, they sent about 30 units of equipment into the attack. Most of this equipment had infantry inside or outside, and most of this equipment was destroyed by the armed forces of Ukraine. This was an attack from the left flank. Also yesterday, the Russians sent about 12 units of equipment. In addition, they tried to put some pressure from other sides, but with a smaller number of their equipment and personnel, Ovcharenko said. The military added that despite this, the defense forces managed to react in time and stop the Russian offensive. In particular, according to Ovcharenko, the defense forces destroyed most of the enemy's equipment and infantry. Police and demonstrators clashed outside the parliament building of the Georgian separatist region of Abkhazia as tensions flared over a proposed pact that would allow Russians to buy property in the region. Most of Abkhazia broke away from Georgia in fighting that ended in 1993, and Georgia lost control of the rest of the territory in the short war with Russia in 2008. Russia recognizes Abkhazia as an independent country but many Abkhazians are concerned that the region of about 245,000 people is just a client state of Moscow. Hundreds of protesters gathered at the fence outside the parliament, which was to consider ratification of the agreement under which Russians could buy apartments in Abkhazia, whose mountains and Black Sea beaches are popular with Russian tourists. Opponents say the agreement would drive up property prices and boost Russian dominance of the region. The parliament session was later postponed, but protesters remained at the fence, then used a truck to break through. Police blocked them from entering the building as the protesters threw rocks and eggs, then tried to push them out of the territory and fired tear gas, according to Russian and Georgian news reports. There were no immediate reports of arrests or injuries. The arrest of five opposition figures at a similar demonstration on Monday set off wide protests the next day in which bridges leading to the regional capital of Sukhumi were blocked.
долой президента, отставку президента, отставку президента. Но помимо того, что мы требуем отставки президента, мы требуем от парламента ввести мораторий на соглашение и на закон об апартаментах. Два моратория сегодня, если не будет здесь у нашего народа и не будет отставки президента, я думаю, что вы не должны уходить с этой площади. Я спущу сама спокойно.